We all know that deadlines are critical to litigation proceedings, but what happens when a party misses one, a big one? Does the party automatically lose? The 2010 case of Culleton Preparatory Academy Incorporated versus Hoover Universal Incorporated explores this question in the context of some rather high stakes. Culleton Preparatory Academy was a small private school in South Carolina. Several of its buildings suffered damage to their roof structures and casings. This was allegedly caused by the fire retardant substances with which Hoover Universal supplied the school. In March of 2003, Culleton sued Hoover in district court for negligence and violation of state law, but erroneously did so against an unrelated Hoover company. Three months later, Culleton filed an amended complaint against Hoover Universal. Hoover's registered agent, named the Corporation Company, or TCC, was served that same month. However, TCC didn't notify Hoover. As a result, Hoover didn't file a timely response to the pleading. Culleton in turn filed a motion for an entry of default in accordance with Rule 55 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, or FRCP. The district court granted the motion in August of 2003 and ordered Culleton to set a damages trial date. A little less than two months later, before anything was calendared, Hoover learned of the case by complete coincidence. After nine days, Hoover filed a motion with the district court to set aside the entry of default. The court denied Hoover's motion and ultimately awarded Culleton a little over $1 million at trial. Hoover appealed to the Fourth Circuit, claiming the district court abused its discretion when it denied the motion.